look what I got here, gang. My finisher medal for the Disneyland Half Marathon. I just did that in Anaheim. The first time Disneyland has had a race since 2016, I think. It's been seven years since they ran a race. They had issues with the city of Anaheim. They had the crap that happened in 2020. And now they're just kind of like getting back into it now. So we were on the list and we did that one. We were the lucky ones to do that one. It just happened last weekend. And <laughs> we're going to talk about it. It was a very challenging run for me. I'm going to talk about that in a sec. So also, this is also just the kind of our my first update show from 2024. I haven't done anything. I was kind of like a little bit not lazy towards the end of 2023. And so now I'm going to get back on track here with these on a weekly or every kind of bi-weekly basis. I'm going to run down the week that we were in Disney. And just do it quickly. I, I, you know, you're, you're not interested in some of the stuff because some most of you know what um, the deal is in Disney, right? There are rides, there's food, there's experiences. So let's start off with uh, us arriving in Los Angeles. We started off the morning of our trip doing some early morning yoga. And you know what? I would say I would give it a ranking of... <laughs> uh, I laughed because it was uh, not the best experience for me. So I've done I use I've done yoga before and I know what to expect and I know a lot of the movements and all that. However, it was freaking early. We got there I forget now, 4 30 in the morning. So it was meant to be like a sunrise yoga, about an hour long. And the temperatures in California were not what one would expect normally. It was in the, I think when we got there, it was like six degrees Celsius. On the, on the plus side, it was minus 30 or whatever in Edmonton. So I'm not gonna really complain about that. However, during the yoga session, it started raining. Not hard, but who wants to stay outside in the rain while you're lying on your back or stretching and all that kind of stuff. So my, my hands were cold, my feet got cold. I didn't dress appropriately for it. I had one sweater on with shorts. So that kind of gave us a, uh, a funny start. Actually, I got something funny story to, to talk to you about. Hang on. So um, we were able to take these after our yoga session. So it's a nice thick rubber mat. It says Run Disney on it. It was part of the, uh, the whole experience of it. I traveled down with just a backpack. And when I knew I had to transport this thing back home, I wasn't really sure what to do. Uh, Shannon and Kathy were just gonna put them in their suitcases and I really wasn't sure what I was gonna do. I was probably thinking I was gonna leave it there. But we had a plan. Now come to that plan at the end of the week when we're traveling back home. Here are some of the sights and sounds of things we experienced while in the parks. We, I'm a big fan of um, kind of going out for breakfast. So we experienced some of that inside the park and outside the park. I rented a car on the Saturday we were there. Um, went to one of my favorite spots for breakfast. It's called Breakfast Republic. Highly recommend that if you're in Southern California. 
uh, just just a, a cool experience. The food is amazing. Tons of choices. Just like top quality. So Breakfast Republic, excellent. The next day, we ended up going to another, like, basically 1A and 1B. 1B is Snooze. Excellent uh, name for a brunch slash breakfast place. Snooze ended up being in a very, very kind of cool spot in California, the town of Orange. And so we got on the wait list there, waited a bit. I had some cool French toast. And so that's also another highly recommended place to go to is Snooze. And of course, uh, roller coasters and rides and just kind of being in the park, uh, experience the crowds and all that stuff is very, very fun. Five, four, three, two, one, go! <laughs> Although, although, I am going to put a pause on my trips to Disney for a bit. I've just, I've seen it all and I need a break. Part two of my uh, reasoning that Disney is done is the run part. Now, the whole reason for the trip was the half marathon weekend Shannon and Kathy did 5k on Friday 10k on Saturday and we all did the half marathon on the Sunday I got when you register for most races they ask for your approximate finishing time or your kind of race pace and I don't remember putting that in for this one which means that if you are within a certain window of time, you get staged into certain corrals. So if you're very, very fast, you're in A, less fast, B, and then so on and so forth. And these are called, um, I should, I don't know, let's say the good corrals. So I, when I got my registration package, I was in corral F. And I think there were only G number of corrals so i'm in f and i didn't think i was that slow but hey whatever shannon and kathy both got put into e so they were going to be starting the race ahead of me which then kind of gave me a little bit of a challenge thinking what am i going to do to you know catch up to them and then we can run together normally we run together and which, like, that's fine. So I was thinking, okay, I'm starting probably at least five minutes back before we start. Then there's a whole pile of people in front of me inside the corral too. So I'm thinking maybe they had a head start, either five or ten. But I think it was probably about 15 minute head start, I'm thinking. So when the uh, when we started the race, the race, I just decided to not take any stops, no breaks, no um, intervals, just go till I meet up with them. So we ended up doing that. Guess what? I never did see them. I uh, around the third um, kind of washroom I saw I took a, a bathroom break apparently they were in line and saw me walk into the bathroom I didn't see them our internet was all screwed up on my phone so I never did see any messages from them I got out we didn't see each other I didn't know that that they were there at the time so I just kept going with my pace trying to catch them up I never did like I said, I didn't do any intervals. I, If there was a bunch up of a crowd, that's when I kind of slowed down and just kept going at um, a decent pace as far as, as fast as I could kind of control, realizing that this is 21 kilometers long and in our training runs at about 15, 16 kilometers is when my legs are like screaming at me to kind of back off. 
Now, going through this, it got really, really hard. So the, the, the 21K started the first, I'd say first five miles, eight to a 9K was in the parks. And then we left the parks and just ran on the main kind of streets in Anaheim and around Anaheim. At, at 12K is when I was starting to struggle. So this is where I needed to just push through, keep moving, although my walk breaks started getting a little bit longer. So I just kept going with my pace, trying to catch them up. I never did, like I said, I didn't do any intervals. I, if there was a bunch up of a crowd, that's when I kind of slowed down and just kept going at um, a decent pace as far as, as fast as I could kind of control, realizing that this is 21 kilometers long and in our training runs at about 15, 16 kilometers is when my legs are like screaming at me to kind of back off. So going through this, it got really, really hard. So the, the, the 21K started the first, I'd say first five miles, eight to a 9K was in the parks. And then we left the parks and just ran on the main kind of streets in Anaheim and around Anaheim. At, at 12K is when I was starting to struggle. So this is where I needed to just push through, keep moving, although my walk breaks started getting a little bit longer. And it was just like, man, my legs were just hurting. Like the impact, I, I, I try and run very, very softly. I midfoot strike. Usually my calves and my hamstrings are, are the things that do take a lot of the load. But man, my, my ankles and mainly just the kind of surrounding tissue of my knees... It was, it was getting very, very challenging. Very, very, very challenging. It was one of the hardest runs I've done. It turns out that I set my all-time best half marathon time of two hours and 38. So it was like, I was happy about that. I've only done three of them. So, and I think right now, I am doing a, uh, I don't want to do another half marathon ever again. So I, I'm done with those. So I'm going to say that now. I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to limit my runs to, uh, races, to 15 maybe? More likely 10s. Although Shannon is planning on doing... Uh, another half marathon in April, which means she's going to be training. Oh, not a half marathon, a, a 10 miler. So 16 K. So she's going to be training for that. And I anticipate she's going to sign up for wine and dine in Disney World in November. So we'll be doing some training runs and some medium to long training runs leading up to that. So yeah, that that was hard. That the rest of the day after we had finished it was like we went we just kind of walked around the parks a little bit after that and it was so hard to walk. And after sitting for a while and then standing back up, oh my fucking knees were just they were just smoked. They were just hurting so bad. Then the next day I really wasn't sure what would happen the next day. Uh, sleeping was good, but then waking up and then like <laughs> trying to bend them. Oh my God, it was hard. 
very, 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 very hard. So I had to, I got some uh, Ben Gay. <laughs> That's what I could get at CVS. Ben Gay to kind of um, apply to my calves and just the surrounding parts of my knees, just to kind of get them a little bit loose and warmed up, just to move. And so that was Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I went for a run again on Wednesday. And moving through the run, actually, that felt good. Uh, I was back to feeling 90, 85 to 90%. That was fine. So it just took that many days to recover. Oh, man. It, it's just really, really hard on my on my uh, joints and my muscles. That meant that much volume. Even though I was, I was conditioned for it, uh, cardio-wise was great. Uh, felt comfortable for the most part. Just that mental push through of the pain doing that plus like so you'd run and then you get to a point where it's like okay i'm gonna walk now but then just you know how you, when you're walking your legs i have to like so you it, it you have to it would i was like shuffling and then you're like okay i gotta get back to running i don't want to run again and then i don't want to walk again so overall uh really great experience but half marathon <laughs> If I'm thinking about that, just let me know. Go back and watch this video. <laughs> Thanks for watching me this week, guys. Coming up, we're gonna be talking about, Shannon and I signed up for a 100 kilometer bike ride. So we're, I'm gonna be uh, talking about that a bit, training for that. A couple train, uh, trail runs. Um, I might sign up for this year as well, leading up to the Grizzly Ultra Marathon in October. The CrossFit Open coming up in a month and a bit. So we'll talk about that, maybe do a couple speculation shows. I'm, um, I usually do those, but I'm often wrong. <laughs> Meaning 100% of the time, but that means often. And other things. Thanks. We'll talk to you later. And for all those who waited, here is Chris Pratt when I met him at Disneyland this week. Check it out. All right, what we got? Oh, yes, there you are. <laughs> Quill, that's what we came back for? Quill, okay, first off, it's Star Wars. People are watching. And second, Oh, just what this actor ordered. Oh, yeah, baby. Woo! All right, he's got some moves. He's got some chiller moves. I'm going to throw it to you. Give it up. There we go. Love it. I'll be for him. Oh, that's good. That's good. I got this dude. Let's do this. Here we go. Yeah, the rehearsal looks nice, right? This was a very important mission. Yeah, it is. But apparently it's a bit more important to me than it is to you. So can you hold this for me? Perfect, thank you. Oh, I think we might have failed to notice if we safe distance and we're just casually listening in. We are the guard, thank you. Are the guardians of the Cora, we're doing an intro. It's cool if we're together. Okay, too much, there we go. Thank you. We're the guardians of the galaxy. Yeah, I got everybody right here, and then nothing from any of the rest of you. Thank, thank you. Don't worry. I'm going to give you all a second chance. All of you a second chance. Let's try it again. We're the Guardians of the Galaxy. There we go. That's better. Anyways, we... we came back just, for a sound box. Sound box. Gamora, it's a boom box. A potato tomato. That's not how that... Whatever. We'll talk about it later. Look, we need to get back to our ship. Hang on, hang on, I'm explaining something. Yeah, don't worry, this is important for all of you. Don't worry. 
Look, we gotta get back to our ship. We're being trapped by thermoplasmic sensors. Now, as a man of science, I can tell all of you that thermo, you know, means heat. And sensors, those are things that sense other things. The sensors are tracking our organic thermoprints. Thermoprints, yeah. I <laughs> knew that, you know, it's just dumbing it down for uh -huh. them. Look, the point is they're tracking all of us by body heat and movement. So all we gotta do is create a lot of heat, right? That should scramble the sensors. And then we can easily sneak away. Come on, I've got a plan. If this is anything like your other plan... For the sake of the galaxy, we need all of you to dance. Dance. Dance! Ah, oh, there we go. See, there we go. Come on, Mark. I know you want to... All right, but we're going to start the way. On three, one, two, three. Arms up. Send it around. There we go. Send it back. Nice! Everybody keep those hands up in the air just like this. Grab them like you just don't care. Look at good. Come on. Okay, we can do better than that. Let's see. Everybody follow me. Let's roll it up. There we go. Now bring it down. Come on. Very nice. And bring it up again. Alright, everybody. Let's race. You do more racing. Come on. Or gently tap the roof. This plan is not working. Hey, well. Out there, come in, Quill. What's taking you guys so long? Hey, Trash Panda. It's okay, he loves that. Hey, we're a little delayed down here. We're being tracked by some thermo sensors, but don't worry, we're gonna scramble them by shaking a little bootay in there, right, Gamora? Scramble? Yeah. Just overload them. But give them too much, Dad, and then ba da ba da ba da boom! Oh, great goes down. Who doesn't know that? <laughs> totally knew that. I have to do with everything around here. Just shut down those sensors and get back to the ship! Okay! We have to overload those sensors. We've got another genius plan. Yes. This calls for a dance-off. Oh, no. Oh, yeah! Dance-off! Oh, here we go. All right. Who here has ever been in a galactic dance-off before? Yeah, every now and then. Oh, it just, it just happens pretty often. All right, well, did you win at least? You hesitated. I'm not buying it. Don't worry, you get a chance at redemption right here and now. For the rest of you, it's real simple, all right? I'm gonna walk you through it. I'm gonna split you all into teams right here. Everybody on the left, you're all Team Star-Lord makes some noise. There we go. That means everybody on the right, you're all Team Gamora, give her a cheer. Down. I'm gonna point to Team Star Lord first. When I point to you, you gotta show me awesome dance moves, something like this, right here. There we go. Excellent. Oh yeah. There's a, oh, don't be, don't be humble and bashful now. It was good, and you know it. All right. When I point to Team more, you gotta show me even awesome dance moves, something like this, right here. Oh, it's the baby crew. It's the, oh, the baby. I won't hold the baby. I won't hold the baby. There we go. He spit up. Take it back. Never mind. That was gross. <laughs> all right. Get inspired. Y'all kiss is real simple. I point, you dance. And remember, we need all of you to get involved. We create enough energy and we can take this thing down. Come on. Which might get this jam, please. It's okay. Just fast forward a bit. This next one is sweet. I promise. I told you. Darren's. Tiny Darren's. We're about to cut foot loose because it's time for the Guardians of the Galaxy awesome dance off. All right, Team Starlord, make you proud. We got cut. There we go. Very nice, excellent. There we go. All right, so it's you, Team Gamora. There we go. We got like a showdown going on. All right, very nice, excellent. Not bad, bad for Team Starlord. Classic. Very nice. Back to Team Gamora, come on. There we go. Nice. One more time, Team Star-Lord. One more time, Gamora. Everybody fits me in right here, come on. Yeah, we're going in forces now. There we go. Excellent. Do you think this doesn't affect you? We're all in this together. Thank you. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. Very nice. Have a good one. We just need one more move. Come on, Gamora. I know you got something. Yeah, of course it worked. I have great ideas. 
That was an awesome dance-off, and you were all awesome dance-offers. We just rocked the thermosensor meltdown. Give it up! You know, Gamora, I'd say that this has been yet another very successful mission. We have this special unspoken thing between us. Hey, sweet. what's taking so long? Rocket, we just destroyed those thermos with an awesome dance-off, isn't that right? He's just mad because we blew something up and, you know, he wasn't here for it. Look at him. We got to get out of here, but thank you so much for helping us out. Yeah. And you know what? Since you're all so awesome, I'm going to play one more for you. So you can all keep on boogieing because you all totally rock. Yes, you all totally rock. All right. It's been real. Love you, mean it. Guardians.